Hello, my sweet dolly friends. Welcome back to Nanny's Reborn Nursery. I want to pop in today with you all. Today's Wednesday, and I skipped out on you all yesterday. I cheated. <laughs> no, actually, I had a very, very busy day. Um, just a lot of running to do, a lot of things that we wanted to get done, and I just didn't get back here to do a video. So with that being said, today... I have on my precious little Timmy, and he is the Dustin Asleep Kit by Bountiful Baby, and his artist is Jeannie Galicia. I got him off of Reborns.com, and he is an adorable little guy. I love this baby so much. He doesn't get a lot of video time, but... I have so many babies. A lot of my babies don't get enough video time. So that's that's a normal. That's just a given in Nanny's Reborn Nursery because, well, I have several babies. But anyway, he has got on this gorgeous, gorgeous little net uh, blue, solid blue outfit. Isn't it beautiful? I just love this on him. And I really hate to take him out of it, but you know I say that a lot. I think we all do. But... I'm going to put this on him today. It is a, a JoJo outfit. And it's got the little sleeper underneath. It's got the little jacket. A reversible jacket, actually. Let me take the... I've got the sleeves pushed down in there. But yeah... It's just got the solid jacket, and it's like I said, it's a reversible. And then it's got um, the little sleeper underneath. It's got hedgehogs. No, I take that back. Those are badgers. Though there's a hedgehog. I see a hedgehog. There's foxes, hedgehogs, badgers, ducks. Yeah. And I see a few little mice, and there's some little bunny rabbits as well. But yeah, I want to put this on ham today. And then the little jacket, it, the jacket is just adorable. It's like a really thick, like a uh, quilted jacket. And on one pocket here, it's got the fox. And then this pocket over here has a little bunny. I just love these little outfits. And, and when colder weather gets here, I always try to get to a few of these outfits that I got from Jojo Mom and BB because I love them so much. I love how they have the coordinating reversible jacket with the little sleeper. And when you put them in them, they're just so cuddly and cozy feeling. So, yeah. But yes, like I said, had a really, really busy day yesterday. And just did not get in here and get around to it. And now that I've got him here and I'm looking at him, <laughs> I've got him. He's laying here on a pink blanket. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mommy's sorry. <laughs> See, I should be on blue. I should be laying on a blue blanket, Mommy. I'm a little boy. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, never mind. You know, you know how Nanny is. You know how Nanny is. This little guy, he is like a zero to three months kind of. He's in between. He's in between sizes. He's in between like a size newborn and zero to three months. So, he's not a little bitty guy, but he's not a great big guy either. So... He, I'm going to tell you something. Um, Timmy is heavy. You would not think just by looking at him that he's heavy, but this little guy, he's heavy. Aren't you, buddy? Let's put you on some better socks. These are teeny tinies. Those are for a preemie baby, I would think. I would think it would be. Hang on, you guys. Let me get him some... Some little socks here. Some bigger ones. We'll put these on him. They've got the little airplanes on the side. Yeah, they're a lot warmer and they'll come up higher on his little legs. Yeah. I guess you could call Tammy the perfect size newborn. 
I would think. Wouldn't we, Batty? But yeah, he has got, Timmy has got some of the most gorgeous um, Angora hair you've ever seen. His hair is not um, um, mohair. This is that Angora. I mean, and it's just, it's just soft. It's, it's amazing. I love his hair. That's one of my favorite things about this sweet boy. And I mean, I couldn't feel his hair, of course. When I got him on Reborns.com, I had no clue how his hair was until I got him. And he's amazing. He is just absolutely amazing. I love him so much. Okay, now, let me tell you all this. You're going to hear Ollie in here. You're going to hear him in here, and he's panting. He's had a very, very busy morning. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him. He's just being Ollie. But about once a year, sometimes twice, it's all according, you guys. But about, usually about once a year, and it's in the, in the winter, he gets up of a morning and he's going absolutely ballistic. And he's in the living room while he's doing it. Now, the last time he was, uh, there was one of the times that he was in the kitchen pitching a fit. But today he's in the living room absolutely pitching a fit. He's barking. He is digging and scratching under my couch that I always sit on. And that means, guess what? Nanny has a mouse. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I know, I know good and darn well we've all had a mouse at one time or another. You know what? This is brand new. I've not put this on any of my babies. My goodness. See, I don't need to be buying new clothes, you guys. I've got ones I don't even, I don't even realize that they're even new until I pull them out. And I'm like, I'm going to put this on so-and-so. And then I'm like, oh, that's new. Nobody's ever wore that before. Isn't that crazy? We all do it, though. We all do it. But anyway, back to the mouse. Yes. Yes, Ollie, Ollie is pitching a fit. He is saying, Mommy, help me, help me, help me. Help me get this mouse. And it's like I told him. <laughs> I said, we cannot catch the mouse right now. We have to wait till overnight tonight. But he has barked. He has dug at my hardwood floors in my um, living room. He's digging at, I have two couches actually in my living room. One that sets up uh, along the wall, and then the other couch that I have sits beside my two double windows in the very front of the house, which is normally where he stays because he loves to get up on the back of the couch and look out the window to see what all he can see. And, uh, yeah, today he's everywhere. So that mouse has made its rounds around my living room and has got that dog tore all two pieces. So I'm gonna have to set me a trap and I know, I know, that sounds cruel, but they're rodents and we have to do what we have to do. I'm not gonna put out poison. I don't want to do that because if I do that, then it's gonna, I'm gonna have to deal with the smell and I don't want that. That's just disgusting. And I don't think it's healthy for anybody to breathe. Things like that. So I'll set me a trap tonight, put it behind my couch to where Ollie can't get to it in the morning in case the mouse doesn't get into the trap overnight. But yeah, we're going to have to catch that little booger. But you know what they say, where there's one, there's a great possibility that there's more. So I probably have two, maybe three. But I'm going to have to get that taken care of. He always lets me know, now ladies, he always lets me know if we have a little mousy friend. Look at that, how gorgeous on him. Isn't that so cute? I just love, 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 love this little outfit. Love, love, love this baby boy. Mm, I do. Oh, 
he's beautiful. He is absolutely gorgeous. I got sugar, sugar kisses on his little face. But yeah, I'm gonna, um, I need to uh, check with um, his doll, his dolly artist and see what I'll, baby she's got again. Although I know, I can't, I can't buy no more right now. I don't need to buy more. Totally do not need to buy any more babies. I've got to get my one, my surprise baby to you all. Surprise. I've got to get him paid for. And get him in here. I need to stop buying clothes. I need to stop buying babies. I'm only if, I'm going to try my best, you guys, to stick to my word. And only get the one baby for the year 2024. I don't need any more babies than that. You know, I say that now. Later, that idea, that notion in my mind could change. But for now, I just really, I really need to just cool it. Oh, my. Even with this um, baggy on. There we go. I was having a hard time getting that pulled through there. Must be the way he's laying or something. Goodness, little man, you're not going to turn loose of that little baggie today, are you? Huh? No, you're not. Let's get this pulled down in the back a little bit. I'll flip him around so you out and see him better. Love. Love, love, love these little outfits so much. Oh my gosh, I do. I do. I love them so much. Look. Look how absolutely precious that is. Doesn't he look amazing in that? I just love that. Love it on him. I missed a snap. Mr. Snap, but look how adorable. Mm. Uh, you guys, uh, you know, what is it? What is it about? <sighs> there are just certain babies, you know, they grab your heart, they grab your mind. They just, they jerk your heartstrings big time. They really do. And I love his pudgy little chubby face. I love that. And Ollie's barking again because he smells a mouse. So just look over that. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know, I'm not going to really complain about Ollie barking. At least he let me know. You know, otherwise I probably, I wouldn't have known it. But I'm going to have to get Hubby to help me out and get out some traps and stuff because it's like I said I don't do the poison I don't like that it's just too ugh. they smell terrible when they pass on <laughs> but yeah um let's see there are just certain babies they have that look about them and Timmy is one of those babies and to me I mean I get a baby, and a name sticks in my head. Because in my mind, I see Timmy. That's who, that's who I see. I see the name Timmy when I look in his face. So, you know, it's so odd. It's just so odd how different babies, they're just like human babies, you know. Um, they have different facial features and you know, their weight is different, and, you know, just all kinds of things. It, you just, they're different. It, it's, it's a, that has always amazed me. That's something about the reborn silicone baby community that has always amazed me is because although every single solitary baby is just gorgeous, there's just certain ones that reach out and grab you. And I think I'm to, I'm to a point in my doll, my baby collecting now, that I've become just a little bit more um, 
picky and particular. Not that, not that any of the babies that I have sold, I don't love them because I totally do. But there are certain babies that do something to you here. And I don't know. It's, just, it's hard to explain. I, it's weird how my likes and dislikes and some things have just changed on me over the years, you know, since I've been collecting. But speaking of that, Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies, I noticed something that she done. Now, a lot of you... A lot of you other ladies may do this too, but I had not thought about it till I seen Suzanne do this. But at Christmas, different holidays, when <laughs> I think I don't know why I couldn't have thought of this, but when you've got your babies, say like you've got six babies in Christmas outfits, you don't have to wait to take those Christmas outfits off those babies. Just strip them off to their little undies, wrap them in a blanket, and then when you get ready to change them, then you don't have that, that Christmas outfit's already off of them. And all you have to do is just put another outfit on them. But what I've been doing has been taking each individual baby and like changing them, showing you all that where I'm changing them out of their Christmas outfit and into something else, if that makes any sense. So just take that Christmas outfit off of them, wrap them up in a blanket, and when you get ready to change that baby again, there you have it. The Christmas outfit is off. You've done taking it off. Just put something on them. Duh! <laughs> I don't know why in the world that that idea had never crossed my mind, but it hadn't. It hadn't. So with that being said, I felt kind of... Uh, ignorant <laughs> in that sense because I was sitting there thinking now what a smart lady she is just take that Christmas outfit off wrap that baby in a blanket and change it when you the next time you want to <sighs> nanny is slow <laughs> I'm slow minded <laughs> but anyway um, yeah, I guess I don't have a lot to tell you. The wind, the rain yesterday was very, very heavy. We had a very windy, rainy day. That wind, it blew. It was unreal, you guys, at how hard that wind blew. And the rain just, I mean, just tub pours of rain, which we desperately needed anyway. And, um, because of our drought, you remember... Here a month or so ago, I was worried to death about the, the wildfires and stuff like that. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. Um, my pond didn't run over, but it came close. Um, that's a lot of rain. So, yeah, heavy, heavy winds, heavy rain, and us out running around. Um, we met up with my youngest daughter again for lunch. Oh, and my mom and dad, We met with, they came and met up with us as well. We went back to the grocery store again. We've been to the grocery store twice, two days in a row. <laughs> but yeah, um, we went to the grocery store. We came home. I'm on uh, this new allergy medicine <clears throat> that I'm taking. Well, it's not actually new. It's just, it's, it's the allergy medicine that works best for me. It's a generic form of Zyrtec, and Zyrtec knocks me on my hiney. So... By the time we got back from doing our early morning running, we came back home and you guys, I could not, I absolutely could not hold my head up. So I had to go and lay down and rest for a little while. So I took a two hour nap, got up, um, the wind had, um, the wind had picked up even more at that point. It was still raining. It was just kind of a dull stormy no it didn't storm i take that back it was a dull windy rainy day okay um but the 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 wind you could just hear it you know because i've got woods i live in a very wooded area and i have woods all the way around me except for in the very front out here in front of the house there's a big open field and um the rest i'm surrounded by woods but yeah, you could hear the wind like up real, real high in the trees. And I mean, it was just howling. It was crazy. 
But yeah, that was my event of the day yesterday. But like I said, we had a very busy, active, productive day. <laughs> so I just, I, I didn't get in here. Uh, I was going to tell y'all something, something I noticed. Uh, for some of you that don't know, I got a little message on my, when I opened up my, um, my, uh, YouTube, uh, studio, um, there's a little thing on there, a little message that popped down and says, did you know you can now download from YouTube studio? And I'm like, yes, or upload rather. You can upload your videos from YouTube studio. Okay, so here's the deal. I can do shorts on YouTube Studio and add music. What I'm going to find out here just in a few minutes is can I upload my videos since it's YouTube Studio? Can I will I be able to add a little bit of background music now? Ollie, you better not knock my stuff off, buddy. You need to calm down. But anyway, I'm going to find out when you all see my video, if you don't hear no music, you will know that I wasn't able to do it. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I really am, you guys. I'm hoping I can add just a little bit of background music. I mean, it might help drown out some of the barking and some of the craziness that goes on here at my lovely home. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I'd like to get my videos, I'd like to get take it up a few notches, if you know what I mean. Uh, instead of just hearing plain old flat out nothing but me just blah 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 like I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we'll see if I can add music here after a while. I'm going to try to. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you so much for all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all your likes. It means the absolute world to me and my babies and my channel. God bless you all and we will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.